Hello you bunch of tankers and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do an Amex 12T review. I am over 100 battles into this tank on my second mark. I think it's a great great bit of kit to be honest with you. I'm going to do it a little bit different. Instead of doing the whole scoopy scoopy around the garage sort of thing, we're going to uh, just gonna have bits of gameplay in the background for you to see. Um, first game's on Razanai top tier, just to show how much fun it can be. And the second game is an ace tanker which kind of shows you the big issue with this tank which is the But we'll get on to that in a bit. So, the MX 12T, Tier 6, French light tank, straight after the ELC bis. Uh, I got this after after the ELC, but when the ELC was pre nerf So, I got into that stock package and thought, oh my god, what is this? It is so slow. Now, not too bad a difference. Uh, but, we'll get into it, and let's see what we think, shall we? So, uh... What I'll do first is I'll get you into the packages, we'll have a look at the stats and stuff like that. And uh, I'll just uh, give you my thoughts on it. So we're going to talk about the top package rather than the stock one. Stock one is, uh, as you can see, quite woeful. Uh, it's still 75mm gun, but only 250 horsepower, it's very, very slow. Top package, okay, so here we go, this is, this is the big boy. So we've got 330 horsepower in it, now this is a 60... Kilometer an hour tank. This is this is pretty nimble. I think it's um, 27 brake horsepower per ton, something like that. So it, it gets around pretty nicely. It, it is only a, a little tiny thing. So hey, we all love it. Uh, the gun is the same as the 1375. So you have got a tier seven gun on here with 144 pen on your standard, 202 on your skill rounds, and an average roll of 135 damage. Um, Clip potential on this is a four round auto loading clip and the potential on it is 540 alpha. So, I mean, it hits pretty damn hard. It is it is a really, really good little gun, to be honest with you. Um, you've got your uh, turret traverse of 44 degrees a second. It is bloody quick, that turret. It is very, very, very fast. Uh, with a depression of six degrees and an elevation of 12 degrees. Now, it is an oscillating turret. So if your gun is pointing behind you, which if you're passive spotting, usually it will be. You want to back into bushes so you can just drive out forwards as fast as you can into cover. When it is facing backwards, there is actually only four degrees of elevation. You still get the full six of depression, but only four degrees of elevation. And it will catch you out quite a few times. And you do have to get some funny little angles to try and get the gun down on a lot of tanks, to be honest with you. Um, but it's doable. It's, it's not that bad. Uh, aim time of 2.3 seconds. It does feel like an age and a dispersion of 0.4 over 100 meters. Now, it can be a little bit trolley, to be honest with you. Um, but it is it is a fun little gun. It is, it's, the reload is just, uh, I think it's just under 20 seconds, like 19 and a half seconds, something like that. Obviously, you can bring that down with crew skills and uh, food and a rammer and stuff like that. But um, I like it. I really, really like the tag. When I first got in it, I hated it. I thought it was slow, I thought it, the gun was bad, I just, ugh, I couldn't get on with it. Four rounds didn't help either. Um, watched a couple of videos, spoke to a couple of people. I have been told to run it passively, which I genuinely struggle with. I am an active scouter, but I would recommend to you to play it passively. I have changed now that I'm going for three marks, and I will be running it very, very passively. Um, so yes, back to it, back to it. Now you only have 580 hit points on this tank. So make sure you've got six centre trained. If you have, when it goes off, move. Don't do what I do and just sit there thinking, one more shot, one more shot, move. If you get hit in this, it's gonna hurt a lot. It is only a tiny little tank. So when you're on the move, it is quite hard to hit. 60 km an hour and uh, quite a nice turret traverse of 38 degrees, <coughs> um, it makes it quite quick and nimble. So when you're on the move, duck, dip, dive, dodge and duck. Don't go, go don't drive in a straight line because they will hit you. Bloody hard as well. <laughs> um, so if you rage on this, 360, quite good. Use of binos on this will put you up to 475 meters of view range. Uh, now remember the effective render range is four. Uh, 445 meters. Anything over 445 meters will just up to 500 will eat into the camo value of the tank that you're trying to spot. Um, 
Camo value on this, excellent. I uh, believe it's 0.31. I can't find the piece of paper with it on, so we'll just take it as possible. Uh, 0.31 camo value on it. Very sneaky little tank. Great for hiding in bushes. Great for par uh, spotting away, passive sp um, scouting. Sorry, I can't get the words out. Um, but yeah, I mean, the gameplay I've got here for you is very different to how... I would advise playing it now that I'm a bit more experienced in it. This was sort of quite early on, had got the, the top package on it and was just seeing what it could do sort of thing. Um, turns out, quite a lot. It, it is a lot of fun to play this. I now, I went into the tank, I hated it. I absolutely despised it. But after a little while of having to grind through it for the 1375, I convinced myself I was just gonna get the 1375, get rid of this straight away. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This has, this has stayed with me for quite a while now. I'm going to go for three marks on it. I mean, I, I've got to. I've got two marks on it. I've got to go for three marks on it. Uh, goodbye, Coronetta. You see, again, the, I know I've said it a few times now, but the gun. The gun is just brilliant. Now, the downside of this, and this is, for me, the biggest, biggest issue with this tank. It only has 36 rounds of ammunition. In, in total. Complete. That's it. And being a four-shot autoloader, you rinse through them rounds pretty damn fast. You will notice that you only have 36 rounds. For me, the telltale sign normally is when I start having red spewing out at the end of my barrel. I then realise, oh crap, I fired a lot of rounds now. I really need to be careful where I'm shooting. Um, my loadout on this, as you can see, I am carrying eight rounds of HE. Don't know why. This was actually from a stream, this game. Uh, and the next game as well. Both of them I'm carrying eight rounds of HE. I really don't know why I'm carrying eight rounds of HE. It's a small caliber gun. It's really not going to do a lot. Um, reset a cap, yes. But to be honest, with the pen on this tank anyway, you'll probably find you're going to reset the cap with your AP rounds anyway. So, don't bother. Take all your HE rounds out. Unless, you know, unless you're feeling fruity or something, take all the HE rounds out. Pack as much standard rounds as you can. Um, I'm running really 12 rounds of APCR in there, so I've got three clips full, just for them tier 8 games. Um, <coughs> 202 pen in tier 8, is it's it's good enough, you know. You're going to be able to get side shots and rear shots into tanks in this because of the camo value. Remember, the camo value will not drop when you're on the move because it is a light tank. That is one of their perks, one of their little pleasures. Your camo value will stay the same when you're on the move. So, pushing back to the base here, doing my job as a light tank properly. Uh, with this high top speed, I'm going to get there the quickest. If our cap is going, I need to fall back. That's that's what I should be doing as a light tank. Let the heavies all push on to the, the enemy cap, fair play. Um, but I need to get back there, use my camo, spot them up, and just get a reset on there to help my team win the game. Um, now, one thing that I haven't mentioned so far, even though it's glaringly obvious from this game, um, this light tank can be top tier. And that makes it, in my opinion, even more powerful than it really needs to be. Um, you can be top tier in this. This tank top tier is is ridiculous. It is absolutely crazy how good this is. Uh, there we go. We get a shot in. We get the reset. We're getting a little bit low on ammo here, and I'm panicking. I am really panicking. I bite myself into a silly position. <coughs> Should have tried to do was push myself back over the hill and out of the line of sight. But because I managed to reset the cap, we're going to win the game here. Uh, it's it's three on our cap, three on their cap. Uh, I tried to get in there for one last sort of reset. And I'm trying to find a shot on the OI. Uh, I tried to go through his R2D2 droids on the front. Nope. Not going to happen. I'm spotted. I push back out. Stupid boy, Pike. But we win. We win. Uh, so we'll have a tiny little look at the results screen, and then we'll skip on to the next game, and we'll have a bit of gameplay commentary on that. So, we're out on Prokhorovka, uh, one of my favourite maps in the game, possibly my favourite map in the game, especially when there's no artillery. 
Um, I'm platooned up here with number six, the GBD clan, as usual. This is taken from my live stream on twitch.tv slash choppermere. If you want to take a little look-see, come over, say hello. I stream three times a week and all that stuff. Lovely, lovely little plug there for you. Um, now, I found this quite strange uh, when we were playing, the fact that I'm sat on the centre ridge of proc and nothing. Two spots. Absolutely nothing. Um, we, uh, we were kind of sort of discussing where is everyone? What's going on here? Not a bad thing. It means that I can get some shots in early. Um, quite quite lucky, actually. Three shots out, four hit. That's nice. Over 100 metres. Remember, the dispersion is 0.4. So it is not the most accurate of guns. But when it works, it bloody works. And you will enjoy it. Um, I would recommend changing your setup from how I have it on this. Now, I recommend equipment-wise, as I've said, run binos, run camo net, and then... I would probably opt for either Vents or Rammer. Rammer will get your reload speed up faster, whereas Vents is going to help you to just, just get that little bit more out of everything else, which includes your range and your camo value. Um, and obviously, it'll help with your, your reload as well. Oh, lots of bounces, lots of misses. That's that clip wasted. Now, clips wasted are quite cringeworthy. Remember, you only get 36 rounds of ammunition in this tank in total. Um, if you bit of an idiot like me and you have eight rounds of high explosive loaded as well you've limited yourself to 28 rounds of ammunition not good not good but we're just playing the we're playing this ridge because hey we can there's there is there's nobody coming to assault us their team have decided they don't they don't they don't want the ridge they don't need it they, they can do it without they can do it without um, I mean I don't mind because it gives me just Time to rinse the enemy of their hit points. I think I held off a little bit too long there with that blind shot, but you've got to try. The only problem is, again, we're on the reload. Eesh. Not many rounds left. Now, you think a lot of tanks will be down to this uh, at the end of a game. A lot of tanks won't even get down to this low in ammo by the end of a game because they parry pack so much. Look at Tiger 1. I mean, it's almost like unlimited ammo in that tank. But yeah, just just sat, chilling out on the ridge. You know, the ridge you should never be able to sit on because usually everything's firing at you because it knows you're going to be there. Um, <laughs> this, this was a crazy game, I'll be honest. I was so shocked by the way it panned out. I, I just couldn't believe we could just sit here and drink some cheese, drink some wine, eat some cheese and just catch some rays. It was, it was crazy. So we get reloaded and we're going to try and find ourselves a, a, a different position. Try and get um, some some shots on those heavies that are down in the, uh, the one line. There's there's two or three of them over there. And they're all begging to have my rounds put through them. That's, that's what they all want. That's what they want. So Tiger 1 front plate. If we get for the lower plate, it will go through. Upper plate does actually uh, bounce two rounds from that, that clip. And as you can see, we are down to our APCR. So we only have 12 rounds of armor penetrating um, <laughs> rounds left. So every shot needs to count here. And that's, that is one thing that I have learned from this tank that I've not learned in another tank so far. Ammunition conservation. Knowing when to take the shot and when not to take the shot. These early games, I just kept forgetting how many rounds I had and it was just a case of, yeah, spam them out, spam them out, let's get the damage done. Now I've really... And this is, again, another uh, argument for passive scouting in this tank. Get your assisted damage. Don't go for direct damage quite as much just because of how limited you are in how many rounds you can shoot. Especially when you keep missing like I am. Side of a T29, not an issue. Set him on fire. Nice little finishing shot before we have to reload. We're now down to four rounds of armor penetrating. That's it. Four APCR. After that, we're on HE. If I hadn't got the HE in, we probably wouldn't do too bad. <laughs> 
But, you know, I'll out to get as much damage as I can, as many kills as I can. But the nice thing being a light tank, if it does all go south, I can always just fall back on a bit of uh, spot assists. And that's it. We are now out of armor penetrating rounds. There is only an artillery and a heavy tank left, thank God. Um, and our RT is focusing on that heavy pretty damn hard there. There's two shots go in there. It's great to see when it's your team doing it. When it's the enemy, it's a little bit distracting. Miss. It gets finished off. We don't get the spot assist, unfortunately, because of the TD and the light tank over here in A and B6. But KV-85, he's, he's just running away. It's the best thing he can possibly do. Um, I'm go I've got them, so I'm going to try and use them. We just fire the HE. We do actually get a pen. A 43 damage with our last uh, HE -H round. And there we go. That's all she wrote. 22 pens, 10 spot assists, 3 kills. Mid-tier game. It is a lot of fun, this tank, and you will love it. If you like light tanks and you like something a little bit quirky and different, you're going to enjoy this quite a lot. Uh, Golden Archase Tanker. We managed to do uh, 3.7 damage, uh, 3.7k damage combined. Obviously zero blocked. Don't expect to block anything. 21k silver uh, and a base XP 1653. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, leave me a like and a comment if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. If you didn't like it, drop me a dislike. It lets me know what I'm doing right, and it lets me know what I'm doing wrong. Um, so, yeah, have fun, guys. Enjoy the 12T if you've got it. Until next time, see you later.